Hi, it's Tony Tricilius from Cheap Scrapbook Stuff coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And this week I did something a little bit different. Um, I used one of these little mini collections from My Mind's Eye. And they include a 6x8 paper pad, um, like a 6x8 or 9 sticker book with six, six sheets of stickers, and a package of mixed bag embellishments. Um, and the paper pad is really cool. Um, this is what's left over from the one I used, but it's got 24 um, double-sided sheets, two each of, I believe, 12 designs. So um, cool, and they're double-sided, so it gets you like twice as much paper. And the sticker book um, is very cool as well. This is what's left. I mean, I hardly used stickers, and I think my pages are pretty well embellished. Um, there's some alpha stickers. There's a bunch of, um, uh, what do you call them, um, boxes, journaling boxes. Um, just some embellishments, a couple of border strips. So, um, so anyways, that was that. So those are the products that I used. And then for the background, we'll start here. Here's my layout. Here's the first layout. So, and this one, I did not mount these so we could actually um, see my layout better. So for the background, I used this really cool shimmer cardstock from Cartabella and I used blush on this layout and then for the um, photo mats I used American Crafts um, glitter pal paper and I used marine um, so that's that and what I did on this layout was I took oh and I used washi tape um, it's from Cartabella's summer collection and it's just dotted washi tape and it totally coordinates with the line. Okay, so what I did was I took um, two of the six by eight papers and I, so there's two the same on each side and I cut them in half. So that gave me a four by six, two four by six squares. And I did that with two of the papers. And then I just mounted them and I just outlined them in the washi tape. Um, so you can't really see my seams. So you can't really tell that it's six by eight sheets. Um, and then I took another two sheets and made photo mats. So that's one sheet front and back, I believe. And this was a different sheet, or I'm not sure exactly how it went, but it's front and back of one of the sheets and then just one side of the other sheet. Um, so I took and made photo mats out of them and mounted them on the glitter cardstock. And then I just took the sticker pack and the embellishment, the mixed bag pack, and just embellished the page. And I don't know if you can tell, but some of these are popped up. So I used our pop dots, the CSS basic pop dots. I used those um, to elevate it. And then, you know, glitter cardstock is another thing. Um, it's hard to find adhesive that will stick to the glitter cardstock, but our um, CSS basics um, tear tape works perfectly. And you can see, I mean, it's stuck. It's stuck on there. It's not coming up. Um, so I used that to mount my paper to the glitter cardstock. So that was my first or my first layout. Okay. Then the second layout, I used shimmer cardstock again, and this is the second layout. And these are not mounted again so we could see. Um, and on this one, I added in a package of Prima flowers. These go with um, With Love, the With Love collection, um, but they pick up the colors in the paper. And then I also used Stickles glitter glue 
in goldenrod um, to add some accents to my photo mats and the flowers. So for this layout, I took two um, six by eight sheets and just lined them side by side, matched them up. And this one actually matches up perfectly. Um, and I don't know if that was intentional or just uh, luck of the draw on the pad that I used, but you can't even see where the seam is because I covered it with the photo mats. Um, so I took two six by eight pages and set them on um, the gold shimmer cardstock. And then I took another page front and back or two other pages, sorry, two other pages front and back, and I cut three inch squares. So three inch squares, four three inch squares out of each one, and then I used the remaining for my photo mats. And I used more blush shimmer paper for the photo mats. Um, and then just to kind of set the design off a little bit, I used washi tape on the top and bottom, and I used washi tape around a couple of my triangles. Again, just to kind of set it off and give it a little depth. Um, I added a title that was in the sticker book, and then of course the flowers, and I embellished the white ones with the stickles. More stickers, more elements from the die cut sheet. And then down here, same thing. Um, and these I elevated with pop-up dots. And then the final finishing touch on my photo mats, I don't know if you can see it, but I used stickles to simulate enamel dots. So if I was to do this, I could set this one like that. And that would be it. So, and I would say there's plenty of paper in here to do easily two more layouts. Um, easily two more layouts. And there is um, shimmer cardstock in blue that would also coordinate. And then there, there's a light gray that would also coordinate. Um, so you could easily do four double page layouts from this one six by eight paper pad and again plenty of embellishments um, i will put all of the exact descriptions in the in or all of the exact measurements um, in the description and if you have any questions or you want to see close-up pictures um, please don't hesitate to reach out and then again um, these are my layouts There's the one. There's the other side. There's that one. And the other side. All right, again, any questions, don't hesitate to give us a message. Thank you, have a great day, bye.